Hello and welcome back after a long time. I'm still here, I'm still breathing, and the lave's still here. But she sprung a leak. Well, I think she was leaking originally, but that's what happens when you don't touch it for a few years. And look at the state of that, I don't even know what that stuff is. So, I've decided I'm going to give her an oil change. Because I've never done it in my ownership, and I don't know if it was done prior to me owning it. So, first things first, I need to warm her up. So we be about 10 minutes. Okay, I'm ready to drain the oil off. I've had to detach the camcorder from the tripod because it's a bit awkward. I'm using a very handy Klecti oily thing. Don't leave home about it. I'm going to jam it down there. Probably sexy. And I've got to undo that, you see, with an 11mm spanner. Luckily, it's loose. I hope this is the right bolt anyway. I don't want to do this and the legs fall off. <laughs> there she goes. Black gold. I have to do some work on the back of the lathe anyway, the, uh, these won't tighten up, they're getting a bit slack, they're rattling a bit, what to do, alright, that's that portion, right, okay, I've now replaced the sump plug, I had to put some PTFE tape around it, because it kept going all the way in and didn't stop. So there's nothing to stop against, so I'll just put some around the threads and that hopefully will stop any other leaks. I now need some Shell Tellers 27. Unfortunately, they stopped making it years ago, but what I have got is some of this. Which is the equivalent, but even better, which is nice. The old stuff is there. I'll just have a look at the kit with this. Look at that. Where's all that crap come from? Where has all that crap come from? Just like engine oil. Anyway, I had a look for a massive funnel and I managed to find one. Unfortunately, that's all I've got. And now I'm going to top her up. It's just a slightly golden yellowy colour, like maple syrup. It's taken a lot. That took a lot. doesn't seem to be going up on sight glass which is strange oh yes it is no it's not, we have to spin it round to get it up in the sight glass, I don't know no, it doesn't seem to make much difference alright, I'll keep putting it in yeah.
Oh yeah, it's going in now. And then once you get some on the wall as well. It's not too bad. Stop there. Still need some in. That's it, wonderful. Okay. All gonna do now is put the cap on and give her a run. All what's left to do now is stir her up and if it doesn't blow up, we're laughing. One Colchester student lathe oil change. Quite easy, a bit messy, but there you go. Well, thanks for viewing, and be sure to subscribe and come back again for more riveting videos. Thank you, and good night. Ugh.